they're now banning paper receipts because it's not good for the environment. Joining us with reaction now, American First, Action Senior Advisor, Sean Spicer, Fox News contributor, Tammy Bruce. Um, you were once a liberal. It's hard to imagine that. I, but I do remember back in the day. Well, liberalism with, is not this. Uh, everything you're describing, this is not. I remember John F. Kennedy did well because he, oh, he campaigned on tax cuts. Liberalism really is about allowing people to live the lives that best suit them, but you're not able to do that if the government is controlling every breath you take. This is something very different. Uh, a genuine classical liberalism is about getting people and government off your back, personal responsibility, and being left alone effectively, but being a responsible citizen. That's what liberalism is. So when you see what's going on here, but I have to say that it is not a coincidence uh, that uh, both de Blasio and then Gavin Newsom, within the same week effectively, announced their expansion of health care for illegal aliens. Keep in mind what this means. Who pays for that? Well, not only who pays for that, but, but the, the, um, the de Blasio plan won't really completely take effect or really work until after 2021. I contend all of this, and Sean, I think you might agree, both Sean, Sean squared, uh, is that this is really about... Sean Stereo here. Yeah. Sean Stereo. Yeah. Um, this is about organizing and getting out the vote and registering young people who never have been registered before. So they don't have to deliver. They're, they're talking up all of this uh, stuff. The same thing with the new Green Deal. It's about hubs of registering uh, young people, organizing them, and getting them to vote. The Republicans don't have something comparable. Uh, Donald Trump is the one uh, who can make something like that happen. But that's what this is. And I think that we as Republicans, as we were disappointed with the Republican Party or conservatives, I'm actually, I'm still a Democrat in California, uh, but what we're disappointed in is when you're told one thing and that thing does not happen, like repealing and replacing Obamacare. A lot of young people and a lot of Democrats, if they believe what they're hearing now, are going to be very disappointed when they found out that they're just being used for votes in 2020 for the establishment to stay in power. Look, uh, Tammy's right. I mean, we are now selling socialism as a good thing to young people in this America. Uh, we are not reminding them that people flee countries like Venezuela because socialism is a bad thing. It oppresses people. It undermines things. And they flee those countries to come to America, where the American dream is what people want to aspire to. Capitalism is at the root of this. And we've made it a negative word because the Democrats have demonized hard work and capitalism. And, and, and I think that we've got to remind people, she's right, we've got to start talking about what's at stake. Donald Trump led the fight for tax reform, which allowed people to go to work, keep more of what they earn, put their families in a better position, save more for their kids' college education, maybe allow them to take a vacation or repair the house in a way that they hadn't for, for years under Obama. And this idea of socialism being cool is, is ignoring is what has happened in history. People fled socialist countries for a reason, and we have forgotten to but tell that story. one of the reasons that Nancy Pelosi, you know, dollar for the wall Pelosi, that she can't make a deal with the president is because that base that now runs the Democratic Party in Congress, her base will turn on absolutely. her in a lickety split yes, second. Yeah, and not only that, absolutely, but, but Tammy, the point that she made in her, what she was saying is, is equally important. Every one of those folks is running or thinking about running for president. And what they are doing is trying to stake out the furthest position left so that they can get that group of key uh, voters. Yeah, and, and let me just say, though, that uh, it is going to be up to the Republicans, to the president, to everyone who cares about the country, to, in fact, speak up about this and against yes. it, because they're also relying on the Republicans being defensive and not not educating the American people, uh, and, and they're the only ones who are going to have to do it. The, the Democrats know this is a failed uh, dynamic. They don't even really expect to implement it. They are lying to their constituencies. This nation is, is at stake, and what the Republicans and what the president in particular chooses to do in educating, especially young people, will be key. It's very appealing, because what they're going to do is a power play, too, because what they're saying is, we're going to take their money, confiscate it, we're going to give it to you, and you got to vote for me. Most and Americans won't agree with with that though and we've got to remember that the american people don't like that they want fairness that is not fairness they know the what bottom 50 percent of wage earners pay two percent of the income tax bill two but everyone is doing better now they'll continue okay. to do better I'll under be president trump and and that's what we've got to make sure people understand why and how all right thank you both good to see you directly ahead tonight